Now I'm going to start with the fifth uh, nucleophilic addition reaction, which is the longest of all ammonia and its derivatives, which is very important for your board exam. It's important for your practicals also. Questions are asked on it. So the reactions are extremely simple and easy. In this case, we are going to take ammonia that is NH3. Let us write NH2 and instead of another H, I'm going to write Z because we'll be talking about derivatives of ammonia where instead of the hydrogen, we'll be having various kinds of substituents attached to NH2. This reaction again is catalyzed in the presence of HCl or any acid. It's a reversible reaction again. So you will be getting a, a compound reaction of this sort. You can understand. We'll be getting C, O and the H will be going here. What do we get here? N, H, Z. Look at this. This is the first step. This is the intermediate. Naturally, in the second step, you're going to just knock out this. So if you uh, leave this compound on its own, it is going to release water molecules, water molecule. And we are going to get C, a double bond, NZ. So finally, children, we are going to get such kind of, you know, products. So equilibrium is going to favor the product formation here in this case because of rapid dehydration of the intermediate to form this kind of compound. If you start with aldehyde, you can write aldehydes uh, over here. Okay. So let's see how to predict the products directly now. Look at this. I'm just going to show you quickly. It's so simple. You have to remove the oxygen from here. You have to remove the two hydrogens from here. And the answer is very simple. Look at this. This is my answer. This is my answer. So I'm going to show you various derivatives of ammonia now. And the mechanism is going to be exactly the same. You all must know the names of all the reagents plus the names of the products which they form. Let's see all of them one by one. So totally there are going to be six, uh, you know, reagents children. The first reagent which we're going to discuss about is uh, a primary amine. Look at this. So here we have primary amine and that is my reagent. The second reagent which we'll be uh, looking at is hydroxylamine. The third reagent we'll be looking out is hydrazine. The fourth reagent, uh, children, we will be talking about is hydrazine, but with a phenyl group attached over there. That becomes your phenyl hydrazine. The next reagent is going to be 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine, which will be written like this. 1, 2, 4. 2,4-dinitrophenyl hydrazine. Let me write down the names of all these reagents because I have seen many a times children don't know the names also. The reagent number one is a primary amine. The reagent number two is a hydroxyl amine. Please learn all the names. With practice you will learn. Hydrazine is the third reagent. Phenyl hydrazine. Where did we use hydrazine before if you remember? In wolf kishner reduction, okay? Phenyl hydrazine and the next is which one the most important reagent of all The most important in this fifth reaction is this 2,4 DNP It's extremely important for your board exam for practicals as well as for theory also the full form of this is 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine Okay, 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine. So children these were the reagents. There's one more reagent which I'll be writing that is over here I can write down NH2 NH CO NH2 this is your uh, reagent that is going to be your I think so sixth reagent that's called as semi carboxide semi car carboxide okay is, it, is this clear now with everybody I think so so this was very simple now what is what am I going to do is now I'm going to show you the products directly because as I show, showed you in the previous case also that you're going to remove the oxygen from the carbonyl compound and hydrogens from the reagents. So let's take let's take the compound uh, the simplest compound which I'm going to use for my study is formaldehyde and I'm going to react formaldehyde with all these reagents. Okay, so what am I going to knock out from formaldehyde? 
yes i'm going to knock out oxygen from formaldehyde and what am i going to knock out from these reagents yes i'm going to knock out hydrogens i'm going to knock out the hydrogens let's do it i'm just going to rub off these hydrogens from here okay and over here i think i have to write it very very neatly it's not looking very clear so this is nh2 okay and i'm going to remove these hydrogens naturally because i sh i have to make a bond all right so i have done the needful i have removed the two hydrogens from there from all the reagents please remember we're going to remove from the left hand side now this i'll talk about uh, about it later on so the moment we do this now i'm going to just condense it and i'm going to just fix up the like this h c h double bond nhco nh2 again over here h c h double bond h c h double bond h c h double bond and so on let's write it in short let's write it in short look at this the answers are there so these are my answers what were the answers now the names have to be changed because now the reagents have got converted to the answers the products so the primary amine when it reacted with an uh, aldehyde or a ketone the product formed is going to be called as substituted amine it is called as substituted amine or it is called as schiff's base when hydroxyl amine reacts with an aldehyde or a uh, or a ketone the product is going to be called as when a hydroxyl amine reacts with a aldehyde or a ketone the product formed will be called as oxine when hydrazine reacts with an aldehyde or a ketone the product form is called as hydrazone when phenyl hydrazine reacts the product formed is called as phenyl hydrazone and when 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine reacts with an aldehyde or a ketone the product is called 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydra zone 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 just remember okay and when semi carboxide reacts with an aldehyde or a ketone the product formed is called as semi carbazone the product formed is called as semi carbazone one one mark questions will be asked you can see here the formula of reagents are not that challenging just practice at least 2 3 times it will be uh, learnt by you i'm i'm extremely confident about that so remember a one mark question what's a shifts base so when a primary amine reacts uh, with an aldehyde or ketone we get shifts base it's also called as substituted amine and these are all one one mark questions 24 dnb i told you was very important now 24 dnb is a uh, an important reagent to identify the presence of an aldehyde or a ketone because this reagent can react with any aldehyde or a ketone to form orange or red colored crystalline product so the pbt which you get over here 24 dinitrophenyl hydrazone this will be in the form of a precipitate okay pbt it's a short form so these uh, the products which you get in the test tube suppose you started with the colorless uh, aldehyde and you just added few drops of 24 dnp to it and shook it the color is going to be turning to orange or red color the moment it changes to orange or reddish pbt it's 100% uh, you know sure that yes it's an aldehyde or a ketone so 24 dnp is a distinguishing reagent for identifying aldehyde or a ketone all right i want to talk about this reagent semi carboxide there's an uh, error over here as i can see nh2 nh should be there here so this is the formula once again children look at the formula i'll be rewriting the formula nh2 nhco nh2 okay so please remember that was there was a slight error over there i just now realized that so this is my semi carboxide so what question can be asked in the exam is that there are two nitrogen atoms in the formula but uh, why does the attack takes place from the left hand side and not from the right hand side so it's uh, simple when the attack takes place from the left hand side the lone pair of 
uh, amines we are using so this NH2 is the uh, NH2 of amines whereas this NH2 is the NH2 of amides and you can see that the lone pair are not free they are involved in resonance so how will they attack uh, other atom because they are busy inside with resonance only so the answer is that the lone pair of uh, CO and H2 are involved in resonance and hence they are not free for nucleophilic attack whereas in this case amines nitrogen is uh, lone pair is freely available and hence is going to attack so what kind of question can be there in the exam for example if I give you a question like this CH3 CO CH3 and I draw uh, the structure of semi carboxide in the board exam like this NH2 CO NH uh, NH2 so what you have to bear in mind is that be very very particular about that I'm not going to attack from this side okay I'm going to attack from this side otherwise in hurry you may attack from in, in this side uh, thinking that yes I am just going to knock out the hydrogens no we're not going to do that so we're going to knock out these two and the, this oxygen and my answer is going to be final answer is going to be CH3 C CH3 and then just uh, write this double bond over there and connect it with this nitrogen and the remaining thing remains as it NHCO NH2 so this is going to be my semi carbazone acetone semi carbazone because I started with acetone or if I say are you back propanone semi carbazone uh, carbazide sorry carbazide has become carbazone so I'll be saying it's become now acetone semi carbazone all right so remember this point the formula has to be learned by you thoroughly because uh, i also drew the wrong formula initially it was urea which i showed you in the beginning but it has to be semi carboxide so just remember it's a derivative of uh, hydrazine only so nh2 nh2 you have to change change nh2 nh2 and then just attach co nh2 so children these were uh, i think so how many reagents we have discussed so far yeah we have discussed five and so many of uh, derivatives of ammonia like we started with primary amine, we started with hydroxyl amine, we started with uh, hydrazine, 2,4 dinitrophenyl hydrazine, uh, phenyl hydrazine, semi carboxide, and so on. So just go on revising these uh, topics, please, because organic chemistry is a vast branch of chemistry. And if you will revise, uh, learn the reagents, uh, NCRD textbook exercises you try to solve, then only you'll be getting proficiency and confidence to write the answers in the exam. All right, the more you practice, the better you become. So uh, that's uh, that's all from this video children. Uh, I'm going to talk about some more reactions in my next uh, class. Uh, so bye bye for, from now. Uh, take care. Uh, God bless you. Keep studying.